For some reason, for some strange reason, doggos just keep finding ways into my heart all the time. First, we had the Lightling Doggo. I think. Then, then we had another one, but I forgot. What, what, what dog was <laughs> I don't remember my decks, man. I do it like every day of the week. I can't leave it alone. Right, sorry, I don't know. But regardless, here we are with another doggo deck. And we're playing one of the big boy doggos. We ain't playing Zacian or... Someone said it was called Zacian. I don't know. I've called it Zacian this whole time. And now I'm... I look like an idiot if it's called Zacian. Yeah. But now we're playing Zamazenta today. I mean, let's be real for a quick second, all right? This is going to be one of the most future-proof cards there is currently, okay? Being uh, immune to VMAX cards is something that is... It's only going to get better over time as more VMAX cards come out. Zamazenta V will be a card that we'll probably see play in the distant future. So, of course, I was like, hang on, let's just play with it now. Let's see how it works. It can deal with Dragapult VMAX, which is pretty much the best deck in format right now. We have Metal Frying Pan, which I know isn't Metal Goggles, but hear me out. can deal with Blacephalon, which again is one of the best decks in the format right now. It has some pretty solid tools to its disposal. And if we be a bit tricky with it, if we throw a little few things on it and uh, be a bit spicy, then we can make a pretty solid all-round deck. So, I thought, hey, let's try out a Zamazenta deck and see how it fares. With that all said, of course, do check out the sponsored message, and I'll see you in a second. Are you looking for Pokemon codes? If so, please check out pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What a deal. They always have sales, of course, which is great uh, for when you're looking around and trying to snack some packs up to build that collection that you're looking for. If you do have the finances and you are able to do so, please do visit ptcgostore.com to grab yourself some codes. With that all said, though, of course, please do enjoy the video. Bro, my internet just went. Okay, so I managed to fix it. For some reason, my internet went and uh, the, yeah, the thing just wasn't working. But hey, we figured it out. Figured it out. Awesome. Let's uh, let's go see how this goes. Right now, I know you're probably wondering, hey, Sean, where's the beard? The beard's gone. Your face looks... You look like a 12-year-old. I know. I know. Don't worry. It's I'm going through a phase. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, shaving it up to even out. And it'll be, it'll be back to normal soon. Don't worry. But what I'm looking forward to is hopefully being able to get a haircut. Look up. I don't like hair this long. Last time I had it this long, I was like 14. And I, I never went to the barber. And it was... It's, uh, actually, that's a lie. That's a big lie. I used to have... Go to my YouTube channel, okay? And go to like two or three years ago. Watch my videos then. I was still making Pokemon videos. Watch my videos then. Like my first ever few uploads. I looked horrendous. I had a beard. I was out here. Um, that wasn't groomed in the slightest. It was just mush. Um, and then really long hair that I tied back sometimes. It was... It was yeah, it was a look. It was definitely a look. <laughs> Uh, glad I don't look like that anymore, for sure. Um, but yeah, that, yeah, no, I'm not... Don't worry, everything's fine, everything's cool. Okay, so ADP, very interesting. Uh, this hand, also very interesting. And uh, Mission of So we do play Crushing Hammer. Um, not particularly for the ADP, but just to slow down things at like Dragapult and all that in the setup phases of the game. Um, it does help with, obviously... ADP, um, forcing them to slow down a little bit. And it's a bit of a shame that we're not really going to be getting it here. Wow, I said that really fast. I'm not going to be getting it in here. Oh my god. Now, I can get Zacian down or Zacian. Whatever. <laughs> um, but that seems kind of pointless. I don't really want... I really don't want them putting off their GX attack, man. Really don't want it. I, Giratina's not going to do it either. Um... I'll, I'll be honest with you, lads. I'm probably going to go for his, uh, for his Asian. Oh, my God. It's not about you all the time, Asian, okay? It's, let's have a set to have the limelight sometimes. I just wanted to do Intrepid Sword, so... Yeah, there we go. I mean, it is pretty much one of the best abilities out there, right? So, sure thing. We'll do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are looking to be a two-shotting deck. There are some numbers we're not going to be hitting. Dragapult, again, I know I'm bringing it up a lot, but for that example, we're not necessarily two-shotting it at all. Um, even with the Galarian Berserker that I've put in this deck, it's more so... Oh, wow, okay. It's uh, ADP Zapdos. Cool. Or I'm assuming some sort of ADP Lightning build, which would be interesting to see. Or maybe something completely different, and I'm just uh, judging it before I've seen it. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, we're not really uh, two-shotting Dragapult. And Shrine doesn't help us either, obviously. 
So I've thrown in some zigzagoons because they actually will allow us to hit numbers. Because if we've got the Galeria of Berserker out, we'll hit him on 50. Two shotting is 300. Throwing down a zigzagoon, scooping up and throwing down again, we'll get the KO on the Dragon Pulse. So that's 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 why I've got zigzagoon in here, to say the least. Um, now, one thing that Zacian does offer is the one shot on this further on down the line. Um, but if we can pull off a... I'm going to have to... This is, I, I do not want to get rid of three scoop-ups. I'm going to stick to Zamazenta, okay? I don't want this being a Zacian deck, all right? This, I put Zacian in there just for the one shot of potential, right? For the later parts of the game. I don't want it to just be Zac um, Zacian all over again. So there, no. We're going to slow you down a little bit, Giza. Um, and do that. Go for the research. Hopefully get um, something like a switch. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, wait, no. No. Hmm. <laughs> I was hoping to switch. Uh, actually, no, we can. We can do this. We can switch into the Jirachi so long as we get... Um, this is a bit greedy, I guess. But I'm going to bench this Meowth. And uh, that's a bit greedy, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Just to thin the deck, we'll get the Berserker out, right? And then I just need to hit some sort of switch or... Well, Scoop Up's pretty much dead in the water, but an escape board or something. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, then we can Metasaur and we can attack. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, we actually have 260 HP now, obviously. Now, you're probably saying, hey, Sean, why, why, why no Metal Goggles? Um, we, we, we are immune from the... On the Axis, what I believe, only. Um, well, it doesn't really specify that, but I think I was hit by a Dragapult's damage counter... While Zamazenta was on the bench. So I think it does only count in the... I don't know. Let me know how, how the reading specifies it. Because I believe, if I'm correct, I was actually taking damage counters from a Dragapult once. To a Zamazenta V on the bench. Uh, unless I, misun I misunderstood it for, for it to be Zacian. Because, I mean, they look quite similar sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Frying Pan is because we're not actually struggling too much against the Dragapult. We... Tent of Force, uh, this is what I've seen with my experience playing Dragapult with this, because I've had a few games. Um, the, the opponent tends to just stick with Dragapult V and try to do switch plays and, and do that damage to try and take out Zamazenta. Um, so most of the time, they're not really going to be wanting a Dragapult V max out, but that's usually that matchup. So it usually works out pretty fine. You tend to be two-shotting that anyway. Um, and discarding special energy, which is great. Obviously, the attack discard special energy. They scooped. Yeah. Let's go for another one. I'm actually on a six win streak with this deck, which is pretty cool. It's really awesome. It's really awesome. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Yes. Dragapult with the Scarlet Special Energy is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. All, all together, we deal with the, the Dragapult quite nicely. One deck that we really don't like playing against is Blacephalon. So, I've thrown... I've put priority... Priority. Whoa! Sean, what was that? <laughs> what? Did I just become American for a second? I genuinely didn't intend that. What? What? I don't know. Let's... Let's leave it behind. No, let's not. Let's not make a thing out of this, okay? Let's not. Let's not do that, please. What was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so I prioritized the the frying pan for the weakness. Yeah, yeah, that's just a, okay. It's asking. All right. Um, oh, this is combo. And my internet's going. No internet. Don't do this to me. If you're wondering why I didn't upload yesterday, this be it. Okay, I'm gonna have to find some time tomorrow. I'm afraid to uh, to. To get this one completed, it's, it's a bit of a shame, but hey, sometimes things like just just happen. It's life. Just got to get on with it. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's working now, which is great. So uh, let's actually get into another game. It is actually the next day. Um, so I've kind of forgotten what I was talking about yesterday. So sorry if I repeat myself uh, um, at any time. Um, but let's 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 get back into it. Let's let's play with the doggos, boy. All right. Yeah. So as I said, I, I've no idea what I said yesterday, but um, <laughs> hopefully I don't repeat myself too much. I'm sorry if I do. Um, but man, yes, that was that was so irritating. That was so irritating, man, because I, I was really really pumped to get the video out and stuff and get get on the grind and that and then yeah, and the, the the internet just goes no. But uh, hey, that's that's that, right? Um, okay. I want to see what we're playing against here, and that would be quite interesting. Is there Aura and a Victini? Okay, I'm assuming this is a Reshiram deck, which is very rare to see on the ladder, actually. Um, unless I'm completely misunderstanding what this deck is, but hey. So, the... What, what do we... If this is the matchup, I need to know what I need to prioritize here, then. Let's get 
a... See, this is going to be a t Whoa, we prized? Did we prize two Zamazentas? Yikes. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out in my head what would work best against a Reshiram. We're not two-shotting a Reshiram unless we have the Galarian Meowth out, which we don't. But I think we are with a Zigzagoon. Um, so I think we're okay to go with the Zamazenta for now. Um, go down that route. We can't really tank its hit, though, unfortunately, which is a shame. And I don't really play too much special. This is a bit of a rough one. I'm, I'm assuming it is that, but um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Now, do I go for Solgaleo and try and get a charge up? No, let's just go for Zamazenta here. Let's just do it. Let's just see. Let's see what we do. I do want to retreat the Mew, but I want to... My, my hope is that we, we get, like, a couple of metal sources or something like that. And hopefully we can get a nice, uh, like, a cheeky shot. No, we don't. Okay, that's... That's, that's, that's the way it is, man. Okay, we'll do that. We'll at least try and get rid of the energy here. Which I don't think will do us too much of a favor, but sure. Um, but yeah, this this is this is kind of like a disruption-based deck as well. Playing the Crushing Hammers. I think Crushing Hammer is a pretty solid card. I think it's a pretty accepted card now to be played just generally. Rather than being exclusive to mill decks. Um, considering its ability to slow down Dragapult and stuff like that, which is quite important. Um, okay, it is Reshram. Okay, as expected. So, yeah. Oh, is it Reshram Turbo? Is it OEC and A? That's interesting. Oh, that's super interesting. It had that... Wow! Literally just charged up like that. Um, okay, the Mew's actually pretty solid here. Because Reshiram has that bench damage attack, doesn't it? So, okay, that's that's fine. Now, obviously, they're probably going to get the Dene in and just go literally with the flow. And, oh, they might take out the... The Mew, which is going to be quite an important card in this, in this, in this matchup. 170 to one of your bench. If you played End Resolve... 170 to another. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good looking at where this is going. But um, we'll, we'll try. I mean, this, this deck's not really prepared for this matchup. I haven't really expected this matchup to go a particular way. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out for us. All things considered. But we'll, we'll stick to our guns. We'll stick to our guns. We are a 2 HP Pokemon that technically has the same level of... Um, Sorry, two prize Pokemon that's taking us the same level of HP. We'll bench for now this just to put it in range. But now we need to... Now we need to find a way to get something out of the active. Accelerate to the Zamazenta. Go down that route. But it ain't going to happen here right now with this stuff. I'm going to be a bit crazy with the bench. Okay, I want to Dedene here. I really want to Dedene. In fact, I can just manually retreat and accelerate. I don't have to limit myself. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of the lightning just in case they're struggling for that. And we will Dedene. Now, it's risky paying the Dedene now. Because, uh... Yeah, they can go and do some mad stuff, if I'll be honest. But, uh, I'm just, I'm just being a bit of a risk taker. Being a bit of a risk taker. We'll throw you there. And do we need the metal goggles? Is that relevant? 90, 90, 180. The metal goggles will make this one 90. So, it means they have to get rid of three energy. So, yes, you're relevant. And we will instead go for a Solgaleo play here and just accelerate the energy back on so we don't lose this Summer Zenta now. Yeah, that seems like the play. Now, the unfortunate reality is if, if we use this Crushing Hammer, they just get a Lightning. They're, back, they're literally back on track. I think it's only from Bench, right? From your Bench. So it doesn't really matter what's actually active apart from them doing Crossbreak GX. So let's, let's Radiant Star here. Oh, do we get... No, we're going to charge up Zacian. Yeah, yeah, we're going to charge... Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Shrine, shrine. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, let's 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 go with the Zacian for now. I know, Zamazenta deck and he's playing Zacian still. Listen, all right? <laughs> this is not really the matchup I was expecting, okay? I was expecting things like Dragapult, Persephalons, and... Because that's, that's what's going on. That's what people are playing nowadays. That's what people are playing. That's what people are talking about. So, uh, I thought I'd uh, probably have those kind of matchups. But this is the ladder for you, so... Bit unexpected. We'll take it as it goes, though. So I'm not going to complain. Um, so they can do, what, 180 here? With this, an alien energy attachment in order to... An attachment on the bench as well. Oh, wait, no, no. They've got the Coco, haven't they? So they need, they need an, uh, a lightning attachment to hand here to get the KO on the Solgaleo. And to be fair, I don't mind if the, the, the Solgaleo goes down, really. It's, it is there just to kind of help keep the ball rolling when it comes to Zamazenta. Because obviously the biggest difference between Zamazenta and Zacian is... 
Zassian can accelerate to itself, right? It, it, it really just eradicates the issue of it having a somewhat large attack cost. Um, whereas Zamazenta, it's, although you have the likes of Metal Saucer, it's still not that easy to get going quickly because you still have to find them. Like, if you want to turn one Zam Zamazenta, you can do it, but you have to have two energy in the discard pile, two sources, energy attachment, and then a way to go into the active through the, like, scoop up net escape board or whatever. So it's still a lot slower, much slower, um, but obviously with the likes of Crushing Hammer and the ability to actually discard special energy of the Assault Tackle and stuff like that, and Giratina, there's lots of ways to discard special energy and just energy in general, which will slow things down. But they they found the attachment, which is annoying. <laughs> so they are taking it out. So I've just got to hope now. I've just got to hope. I think if this Shrine stays in play one more turn, we'll have a KO on this, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I think, in fact... We could be cheeky and like go for a gust and like I don't know. Is that am I am I overthinking it? Am I am I overthinking thinking of playing the boss's orders? Nah. Is that a good idea? Probably not, man. Probably not, dude. Um, I've seen some of you talk about in the, the comments about the camera quality and stuff. I've been really messing around with the camera to try and find out what works. Um, I think someone mentioned how dark it was in my background. It's actually not dark, it's quite bright, but I've dropped down the exposure so it makes me more bright in the darkness. In the bit create a bit more jack. So I hope that that, that works out. Um, okay, so. Do I come up with this and attach an skateboard or something? Skateboard's mainly for Jirachi, but sure. And their GX attack is still like lurking about there. I'm a bit scared of that. I'm a bit scared. So don't, Sean, don't mention another to Denny. Whatever you do, don't mention another one. Um Okay. Oh no, no, yeah, we're, we're getting KO. We're getting KO. Sick. Now, do I ditch, like, try and take that Victini out with the, um, take it out, sorry, no. Crushing Hammer it. What's their energy saying in the Discord Path of Fire? Their damage is minimal, so I don't think I need to worry about that. I'll save that. Let's just go with a in here and just go for the one shot while we've got it. I mean, sure, bro. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got the KO there. There we are. I mean, I know it's not really Zamazenta, but... You gotta adapt, improvise, adapt, overcome, my friend. It's just what you gotta do. It's what you gotta do. There we are. All right, another Semper Center. There we go. But yeah, as I said, this was more, more kind of built for that kind of matchup. Dragapult's everywhere. I wanted to build some sort of counter. Obviously, this card is a counter. And the, the only issue is it doesn't prevent V. It only prevents V Max. Now, I believe there are some cards coming out that prevent V. I think Decidueye, is Decidueye coming out that prevents GX and Vs, I think, from hitting into it. But I don't know, because if you could tell by the reading on Zamazenta, it specifies VMAX. If it says V on the Decidueye, and it's an Altaria with it as well coming out. Oh, sorry. Does that mean that they are not going to get hit? Sorry, they're not blocking VMAXs? Because then that'd be kind of strange, right? I don't know. It's interesting how they're going about this, but hey. Right, we got a switch, which is amazing. <laughs> in fact, we might just get win here um, if the shrine stays in play, because we've got everything we need. Boss's orders, switch, bang. And it, <laughs> it's funny, because it's basically a Zam Zassian. <laughs> um, and at that point, you can go down the line of Zassian combo and stuff, but I'm more playing this deck as kind of like, as I said, more of a future thought, kind of going, hey, this card is kind of just sending a message. This card is something that can be good in the future, can definitely see play. And I wanted to just mess around with it and see if we can get a few games of it and be a bit cheeky with it. Because I'm sure this will see play even with the likes of the new VMAXs coming out. Eternatus VMAX, which is rumored to be one of the best decks in format upon its release. Um, and of course, the Center Scorch VMAX. These are cards that are going to be seeing play and will be definitely, at least by my understanding, meta. So this is something that can definitely help deal with that. So this will probably start seeing play, at least in Zacian decks. And I think it is I think it is seeing play today, actually, to be honest with you. But I just don't think it's really that much talked about. Um, but yeah, as I said, I think this will be a card that in the future, people will be like, oh yeah, that's actually a really good card right now. <laughs> so there's the GXs rotate, mate, trust me, Zamazenta is going to be there. It's going to be doing its thing. <laughs> um, right, what, what's, their, what's their energy saying? We have the fire. Okay, so they have five, which is 100 damage. Would have been 200 without the pan, so thank God for that. Um, and I'm intentionally doing pan because obviously, I, I think I've said this already, but we don't really need to worry so much about Dragapult hitting damage counters and using metal, metal goggles. Um, we need to worry more about Bicephalon, so, you know, there's that. Okay, I think we got game, which is funny. 
<laughs> nice and quickly. Nice and quickly. Boss's orders. Bang. Retreat. KO. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. There we are. Right, well, we'll go for another one and hopefully it's something that's more um, relevant to what we see in today's format. Not saying this card, this deck's bad, it's just, it's just, it's just not up to par, mate. Sorry. Sorry, restaurant players, it just ain't there, Chief. Says the one playing as Amazenta deck. <laughs>right so let's pretend that, that that video went amazing there was no malfunctions there's no technical difficulties there's no mill decks let's just pretend that this is amazing of course i'm joking no no i really want to emphasize this is a matter of having fun and i really want to stress as well on the channel because i've seen some comments here and there i do want to just point out to those who think i do take this too seriously it's it's something i, I make all my videos specifically for enjoying combos enjoying parts of the game that people don't explore obviously because of the meta now does that mean that i'm showing you decks that can definitely become meta no that's not my intention my intention is to show you things that you can play if you're bored of the meta because let's be real if you're playing Bicephalon 20 times a day unless you've actually got a reason to do so it's not that fun after a few days or so so i understand that some people need to try something fresh and this is at least something somewhat fresh because it plays us in a lot but listen listen okay listen that's that's what i do here that's what we're all about so if you're new to the channel and you are looking for things to play on a regular basis because i post very regularly then please do subscribe and of course do leave a like if you did enjoy it enjoyed enjoyed it enjoyed it and actually oh one thing quickly hold on this is a, a pad with some certain things inside of it, it starts with p ends with N, starts with C, ends with S. You know what I mean, right? These are some old, old, old cards that I um, collected with my brother when we were younger. If you want to see a video on that, then let me know. I'd love to do it. Thank you guys so much for your support. It genuinely means a lot. And take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm now going to go and cry in the corner for about half an hour.